Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's Friday, TGIF. Yeah, it's Red Friday. Yeah, remember everyone deployed. We got troops in 131 countries. Remember them wherever they are. Hey, and don't forget to say thank you to a vet. Yeah, because they used to be on a deployment too. So, think about it. Remember, everyone deployed. Red Friday, get your red on. Hey, let's go see what this day is all about. <laughs> It's National Coast Guard Day. Hey, salute to the Coasties. Good job, guys. And National Chocolate Chip Cookie Day. Hmm. Yeah, I'm allergic to chocolate chip cookies. Yep. Every time I eat one, I break out in fat. <laughs> anyway, out there. Ah. <sighs> You know how it goes. When science finally locates the center of the universe, some people will be surprised to learn they are not it. Bernard Bailey. When science finally locates the center of the universe, some people will be surprised to learn they are not it. Ah, oh, man. That's pretty bad. When they find the center of the universe, they're not going to find me? Ha! Ah, I am! <laughs> I tell you what. Bad enough that I, I see big goldfish in a pond that... Uh, you know, never moved out of out of the city they lived in. Uh, don't have a college education. Don't have a, 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 any drive to improve. And yet they think they uh, know it all to the point where they tell you, if you don't have the same opinion as me, you're wrong. People who don't believe in this or don't believe in that lie. Come on. Those are the kind of people that I think should be like ostriches and just go put their head in the ground and let me kick their butt every time I walk by. Hey, if you want to believe that man can destroy the earth short of a nuclear holocaust, be my guest. You know, that's the one thing I do believe that nuclear holocaust could destroy it. But I have faith in God that, you know, when he's ready for it to happen, it'll happen. You know, my wife says I'm the standing image of when God's ready to take you to heaven, you go and not a minute before. Yeah. Sometime I'll do the whole story on that and let you know what's going on so you really understand. But for you that know, it is. Come on. You got to quit thinking you're the center. You know it as the world. You can be opinionated. You can have whatever. I'm not PC and I'm opinionated. And if you don't like it, turn it off. Go somewhere else. You don't have to hang with me. But if I don't agree with you, I'm going to tell you you're wrong. And if you can't come to my side and write, even after all the paperwork and points and everything I can point you to, your loss, get out of here. No. But I tell you, it, it's tough when they, they think they are everything in the world and they ain't never been more than 10 miles from their birthplace. I mean, it's ridiculous. Anyway, out there, today's round one. That's just how early we are today on Red Friday. If you haven't seen it before... There it is. It's the Gurkha Black Rose. Mm -mm -mm. Very nice, smooth, very nutty. One of the few that I like to have a nutty flavor to it and some spice. 
And you know that baker's cocoa, plain cocoa, you can reach in and just dab a little cocoa. That has just a hint of that little bit of spice. Not a big uh, bomb of pepper type spice, but just real nice spicy. Give your mouth that nice flavor. But the nut, you know, legume, nutty flavor really comes through on this one. And being a medium body, you got it. Not a bad way to start a morning. But it's Gurkha Black Rose. It is absolutely well balanced. And not a bad price. Good $3 cigar. So if you're thinking of getting into some of these and indulging, go look them up. You know, it, it just... If you haven't tried a different cigar in a while, you need to go try something different. That's all there is to it. Cow. Well, I only smoke these, and that's the only way I'm ever going to be. Well, you're never going to find a great cigar. You're never going to find out that there's cigars that actually taste better than Cubans. And all you're going to do is either chase Cubans or chase your one brand for the rest of your life. I consider you the same as a blind guy that sits in his house all day and won't go anywhere. You're just a mushroom. Yep. You know how you make mushrooms? You get an old spore and you throw it in manure and watch it grow and throw more manure on it until it grows and more manure. Yeah. That's what you are. Big old mushroom. A fungus among us. Hey, anyway out there, it's Red Friday. Remember the troops. Remember everyone deployed. And remember, smoke what you like. Like what you smoke. And above all, just kick some Yeah,